Hey guys and welcome to my tree cutting system tutorial. Today we're going to make a trees like this with Blender. Okay. First we need some wood textures. Just Google tree texture seamless. Go to pictures and go to tools and pick the size and give him something like 512 by 512. So you can pick whatever texture you like. I pick this one and save it to a uh, to a new yeah folder. Next up, we need some leaves. So type in leaf texture. And here, yeah, roll to this website. So here you can also choose whatever you like. I will pick something like this one. Just pick the size you like. I will go with the free one. Next up, we need a texture for when the tree is cut. It so type in tree cut or something like this. See, yeah, this texture looks good. I will pick, I will pick this one. Save it to your folder. And for the last one, we need some uh, wood texture. But we type tree texture and we search for a good inner side of a tree. So you have something like this. Take this one, save it to folder, and we are finished. That's but before we start with the modeling, I will show you what we uh, have to do with our uh, leaf texture. We need to, um, yeah, to actually make our own uh, branches with leaves to uh, scale the the size of the mesh down so uh, we have better uh, FPS in the game. So to do so you just pick whatever uh, program you like. I will take Photoshop but it will also work with Paint or PaintNet or anything. Just open a new uh, new texture with uh, 512 by 512 and make sure that the uh, background is transparent. And yeah, now we can start to Actually, paint branches. Sorry, branch. Pick some brown color you like. And yeah, just take the left bottom corner and oh, of course, first I need a brush. And then from the left bottom corner, just drop them. this. Next up we will import our leaf. Rotate it, scale it down and place it here. I will cut the video here because it would Okay, I'm finished. That's how my branch with leaves looks like. And yeah, just need to yeah, save it or export. <laughs> and then we can go on. Uh, make sure to save as PNG because PNG saves uh, transparency. But just something like test or I don't know. Now we can finally start Blender. Just open Blender up. Yeah, press double A to uh, mark everything and press X to delete. Press on the numpad 1 to make front perspective and press 5 to make front auto. So now we're going to file, user preferences, add ons, and we type in 3. And we add this one. Save, close. And now we can press Shift A to open the add mesh can go to curve and now we have a sapling tree. So this is the basic one and yeah here are many 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 things you can play with. 
I was stuck with some basic things and yeah, explain the one I know. So first we need to make bevel, so we have uh, yeah, a 3D tree. Next up we uh, want to higher the resolution. So I go for like 6 or 7, no, 6, I go for 6. And the curve resolution I will uh, stuck at 1. So here you can play with size and such thing. Next up we go for the branches or for branch radius. So you can scale the tree up. I'll leave it at 1. And yeah, print splitting. So we have more trunks here and more branches. So let's this actually no, just leave it at three. Make it a bit deeper and more trunks for the whole mesh. Next up, we can go to branch growth to actually yeah make the branch a bit smaller. Can play with the curve value of the branch. And yeah, you can play with this all settings here. So yeah, just leave it as it is. And let's go to leaf. Here we just make the leaf shape rectangular, press show leaves, and then we make something like 15. And we make the scale to 1.5. So here will go our, uh, our texture. And if you like, you can just add more leaves to the tree like uh, you want. So I stuck with 75. And yeah, we are almost done. Now we uh, press A. Press A again. Uh, right mouse click and Shift uh, A, sorry, no, just uh, press A, press A again, and then press Alt C to mesh from curve meter surf text. So you just have now a, yeah, a mesh from this curve. Okay, so now we go to the leaves, press H to, yeah, make them invisible. Now we can work with our tree. So, add a material. This is the base material. And yeah, maybe add another one and call this one tree. And for this, we pick our, yeah, our, our bug tech. Now we go into edit mode with tab and uh, assign to the whole tree the white material and to this material we assign uh, before we press this button so we can get the back and assign this one. So now we have our tree to this and we have this one to the hole. Okay. So now go back to object mode, press Alt H to uh, see the leaves. Go here, make a new material, and the texture we will assign an Unreal Engine 4. So we're almost finished. Just save the blend so we can use this in the next tutorial. Tree blend. And then export the FBX. Yeah, tree FBX is okay. Just export, go to your Epic Games Launcher and create a new, okay, create a new project. I will pick the first person project, call it tree tutorial or whatever you like. Now let's see if we uh, assigned our materials correctly. I will just make a new folder for the tree and inside I will call this one a full tree. So this one is not cut it. Here we import now our FBX. Here make sure to uh, uncheck combine meshes and build in. Just import it. 
close this one. As we go to into our tree mesh. Yeah. It was no, it was not designed correctly. So let's see how we can fix this. Just go again into Blender. I press A. Ooh. Press H. Go to this one. Go to this. Selected this ones. So now we pull out here at the small size to get the second screen. Then we open up our UV image editor. Open our bark and here. Let's make a smart UV. Let's see if we. Yeah, that's correctly. That's how we like. Okay, save this again. It's tree blend and export again as FBX. Here we can just delete this. Delete everything and import again the same settings. Just close this and let's see how it looks now. Yeah, that's much better. We have better higher res. Okay, so for the top we can just stuck with an yeah and stretched version. This needs not to be good quality. We will not see this when uh, leaves are applied. So go back in your folder structure. Here we create a new actor. Call this our whoops our true tree cutting pp. Open it up. Add a scene file. Add static mesh. And here we add our, oops, our tree. And again, static mesh. We add and just pick the tree leaves. Okay. So go to your folder again. Let's import our tree our leaves and apply them to our material. So let's see which one we need. Material 2. Just this. For now. So next up uh, open up the, the WinRA. Uh, you download it from the description. So this two of material function we need for uh, for the wind and for color randomization and yeah just go to your uh, project folder go into content and put it in here so let's see if it's in here. Here we go. Yeah, this is for color variation, and this is a function for wind. Yeah, that would take too long to explain everything, and yeah, I don't even understand anything. So it's taken from the speed tree uh, demo, and yeah, just use it. So let's uh, yeah make this correctly now. Press the material two. Surface is okay. It's the mask is two sided, and we make it a two sided foliage. And search for static, and press use with. Oh no, not static. Sorry. Oh, okay. Don't use static. So now we need our color randomization. So pull it here. Plug the base color. Then we need a scala parameter and call this one, I don't know, like color. Give it a value of 0 0.08. Plug it in in the amount and or 
also the uh, result into soft surface color. And then we pick our wind and we connect the red channel, the additional PO. And we need two more scalar parameters for wind weight. Just call it wind intensity. This one. Like this one. This. 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 Oh no! Fuck this into this. <laughs> this into this. Yeah, the result goes uh, into what position of set, and the alpha goes into. Capacity. Here we now take another scalar parameter, and this one will be one and will be pack. Pack. Okay. Let's see what. Oh, I made a mistake. Just break pristus into the opacity and the alpha into the opacity mask. Yeah. Now we need a costume. Or a rotator, rotate the costume rotator, plug this into the UV, and we will need texture cords. So, there, texture coordinates to the UV, uh, vector constant. Two can two constant vector scala parameter and this one will be two. Just apply. Uh, don't look yet on the scalas. We uh, will change them soon. So for now, go back. Call this one leaves or whatever leaf and create a material instance and here open it up and let's see just go here for the cylinder go for the cutter press 5 go to 2 like you want go 2 maybe 3 the leaf wind will be one. This one should be. Let's correct the now. Wind intensity can be one. And weight point two. So now, if you hold down here with left, see. It. Yeah, it actually moves. So just save. Go to your three leaves. Here, first of all, make the LOD collision to at least one. And pick our leaf instance. Now we have some movement here. Here, just look for the rotation. This is weird. So, to correct, go to leaf instant. And to five, let's see. This looks yeah. This looks way better. Yeah. Stuck with this. Okay. Next up, we have our wood tree, and for this one, we take the next template and just uh, pack it here. Copy and go again to the direction of your uh, of your uh, of your project and just paste it in there so now we have here a template this one up just delete oh, just delete the texture sample it's from an older project from me and yeah here we have uh, a big sway for the tree 
which also would take too much time and it's sampled from the uh, yeah from the speed tree from the speed tree tree here you can see it would take too much time so we just stuck with this one here copy it into our full tree library and let's work this one close to other template close close to leaves save everything just open just uh, pull in our bark texture into this and plug in the base color so and delete this one we don't need this anymore and yeah pick the template delete the tree and call this one tree bark something and create a material instance open it up and yeah we want object sway amount and this one here we add a 0 5 here one is enough oh one is enough save it up go into your tree here the same pick one at least for LOD for collision and for slot one and slot two we pick our tree bark instance and for the bottom part you want the normal so there is no sway and for the top we have a little sway so from here to there the tree will move okay just save it and yeah we are almost finished we can now go to our actor place it here somewhere yeah, you see this white uh, yeah, shimmer, it comes from yeah, from my texture I picked, which was not yeah very correct. So if you pick another leaf, uh, there should be no white glare in your tree. Okay, that's for now. So I show you something I uh, did before with, without this glare. I just import this one. So just we'll just take this one because there is no clear yeah you can see uh, it looks much better so you just have to play around with the yeah with with this one so show you what I mean if I just paint the background black you see yeah the, the texture is not properly masked so uh, if you've got a, yeah, a, a good leaf texture, there should be no problem with this. So, like this one. Yeah, you can see. It looks pretty nice. So, And in the next video, we will go on how to cut this tree. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment or visit my Twitter or Facebook account. And yeah.